Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. 6 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 0. And in this video, we'll be solving for the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and exciting videos. Thank you very much. Now let's start solving. At this point, most of you guys right there, most of you viewers out there might already know the answer for the value of x since the right hand side is zero. So what are the exponents that will yield to the uh, difference of these terms be equal to zero? Well, you already know, right? So this must be what? In, in here, if you notice, 6 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x 6 to the power of what and then minus 2 to the power of what equals 0. If you raise this to, to the power of a number that will yield 1, that would be the same thing in here. 2 to the power of anything that will yield the answer as 1, then it will result to a 0. So assuming uh, you already know the answer for the value of x, now how are you going to solve for the value of x? Alright, let's do it. So that is 6 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 0. You start here on the left hand side, left term of the equation. 6 can be written as 2 times 3 to the power of x. And then 2 to the power of x equals 0. Now this term can be written the same way as 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 0. And in here, we can factor out 2 to the power of x. So we have now 2 to the power of x times the quantity 3 to the power of x minus factoring out 2 to the power of x. So we have 1 and us remaining in that. And this is equal to 0. Now from here, we're equating these two factors to 0. 2 to the power of x is equals to 0. And the other side, 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals 0. So we take this uh, value. We can now equate these two log on both sides of the equation. So we take the log, log of 2x, log of 2 to the power of x, I should say, is equal to log of 0. So from here, log of 0, we cannot get the value of that since this log of 0 is considered undefined. Since this expression log of 0 is undefined, that is, it asks, since this actually base 10, so that means which exponent that is raised to a base 10 that will yield a 0 as a result. So this is converted in the same way as log base 10 of 0 is, let's say, let's try to figure out what's the value of x over here. And this is transformed into exponential form as uh, 10 to the power of x equals 0. Now, if you notice, we could not yield 0 out of uh, raising uh, to x power any you're raising anything to a power of anything else. You can never yield a zero as a result. So in here, you can never reach zero, but you can only approach it using an infinite large, or we call negative power. By negative power, I mean that is the value of x in this uh, expression, in this equation. So that means if we have, if we uh, indicate x as, as negative 100 or negative 1000, then this is expressed as exponent. So in here, so 10 to the power of negative 1000 equals not actually 0, but it should be larger than 0, even though this value of x, the exponent will be enormously large, a negative exponent. So this can be expressed as 1 over 10 to the power of 1000. And this will not be 
equal to zero. So the equivalent of this number, one over 10 to the power of 1000, it will approach zero, but it will never be zero. So that means that number is still greater than zero. So one over 10 to the power of 1000. So now let's go back to our equation. And here we're not taking this as our solution, so mark that x. So we're having this one instead. Alright. So we have here now 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals 0. So 3x, or 3 to the power of x I should say, is equal to 1. And from here we're taking the logarithm on both sides of the equation to get the value of x. So log of 3 to the power of x equals log of 1. And in here, log of 1 or logarithm or common logarithm of 1 is 0. So from here, log of 3 to the power of x is equal to 0. Taking down the exponent as a coefficient. So x times log of 3 equals 0 and x is equal to 0 divided by log of 3. And here, 0 divided by any number or any amount will remain as 0. So x is equal to 0. So that is our answer. And now to check our answer, value of x is equal to 0, we substitute this value to the original equation. 6 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals to 0. So now we're checking our answer. 6 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 0. So from here now, 6 to the power of x where x is 0. So 6 to the power of 0 minus 2 to the power of x is 0. Is this equal to 0? 6 to the power of 0 is 1. Minus 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Is equal to 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Is equal to 0. All right, so this confirms x is zero, our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you on the next one. Bye.